When we create a curtain wall, do we always have to use a curtain panel made of glass? Can we replace it with a metal panel or a brick wall or a precast concrete panel? Today is episode 30 of Revit Beginner Program and we are going to learn about how to customize a curtain panel material. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a curtain wall. Let's go into Architecture tab, Wall Tool and choose one of the default wall types. Let's go into Type Properties, Duplicate a Curtain Wall and call it Custom Curtain Wall. Let's choose the vertical grid and horizontal grid layouts as fixed distance. We can come back to this and adjust these fixed distances later on. Let's create this curtain wall which goes from level 0 to level 1 and it's about 6 meters in length. Now we have a cotton wall that has a few divisions of cotton panels. Let's go ahead and select one of the cotton panels. If you find it difficult to choose the cotton panel, go near one of the cotton panels and press tab. When it highlights, select it. When you select your cotton panel, you'll see in the type selector that by default it is made of glass and it's known as glazed system panel. When you choose the drop down menu, you will see that you have also another option of solid system panel. Generally, the solid panel is available in most templates that you use. If you don't, you can always go back to your insert, load family, go to one of your curtain panel folders and, and load this particular curtain panel. This default solid system panel already contains a few parameters. For example, its thickness, its material, and its offset value from the alignment of the wall. So let's duplicate this and call it aluminium composite panel, more popularly known as ACP panels. This, this is generally used for creating facades. I'm going to say OK. The thickness, let's say it is about 10 millimeters thick. The material is aluminium and its offset value, let's say I'm going to make it zero and show you what it means. Let's go ahead and say OK. Let's go to the floor plan view. You see here that when I go ahead and select my curtain wall, this is the alignment of my wall, this long dash line here. And at zero offset, the curtain panel sits exactly at the center of it. So if I want my curtain panels, one of the faces to be aligned with my curtain wall, then I select my curtain panel and edit the type and give the offset value which is half of the total thickness. Here my total thickness is 10 millimeters, so I'm going to make it 5. And you'll see here that now the exterior face of my curtain panel is aligned with my curtain wall. Let's go back to our 3D view. Now if I want my entire facade to be made of ACP panels, do I really need to go to every single glaze panel and try to convert that into ACP panel? Of course not. Let's go into the curtain wall type properties and change the curtain panel property by choosing the system panel, ACP panel. I'm going to say OK to this. There we go. Now we customize the thickness of the panel, the material of the panel and its offset position from the curtain walls alignment. How do we define the length and width of our curtain panels? The curtain panels sizes are defined by the curtain grids and in this case the curtain grids are defined by the type properties of vertical grid and horizontal grid layout rules. So for example if I want my ACP panels to be about 4 feet by 6 feet how do I do it? Let's go here and say vertical grid spacing is about 4 feet. Notice how Revit automatically converts feet inches into millimeters and the other way around. Let's go here and change the horizontal grids to be at about 6 feet. So now we have 4 feet by 6 feet size of ACP panels across the length and the height of our wall. Now this wall type can be used as a facade element in your project. Let's try that out. Let's go back to our level 0. Let's go to Architecture tab, Wall Tool, and try to take one of the default brick walls here. I'm going to create another wall. Perhaps it also has a door. 
And on this facade, I would like to create a facade element, which is made of ACP panels. So for that, I'm going to go under my wall tool and choose the custom curtain wall that we just created. Let's go ahead and create a wall exactly at the same position as our brick wall. Notice how both of these walls are overlapping because the exterior face of my curtain panel is aligned with my curtain wall position. So I can come back here, press spacebar to flip its orientation. So it comes out of the brick wall. Let's go to the 3D view to check. So now I have a brick wall that has an ACP panel cladding on it. But what about the door? Can we create an opening for the door as well? Of course, this is a regular curtain wall. So I can always come back, select this wall, edit the profile. Let's go to one of the elevations. I'm going to choose wireframe mode so I can see my door. Let's go to the pick lines option and choose the area that you would like to remove. Let's split this line into two parts and trim so that everything is one continuous line without any overlaps, without any intersections. I'm going to finish this and change my graphic display mode to shaded mode. Now I have an ACP panel facade over my brick wall. Now one of the benefits of creating a facade element using uh, tools like curtain wall is that after you complete your work, you can easily take a schedule of quantities and find out how many no total number of ACP panels that are required of what width, what length and what area. The curtain wall is an interesting tool with which we can make many things. Today we made a facade that's made of ACP panels. You could use the same process if you want to create a facade that has stone cladding or if you want to create a wall that's made of precast concrete panels. At least we know that we don't always have to use glass as a curtain panel material. But wait a moment, can we create a curtain wall that has no curtain panels in it? And if so, why would we do it? That's the topic for our next episode, so make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, I'll see you in the next.